Hello, YouTubers. Welcome to Johnny's Nutsack YouTube channel, a YouTube channel focused on cybersecurity practice. In today's video, I'm going to continue introducing my psychotic security server lab. Previously, I already installed a psychotic secret server with trial license, integrated with my lab IAD, and uh, also did some basic configuration to sync groups from AD to psychotic server. In this lab, I'm going to show you how to onboard in the domain admin account. Let's start it. Log in with local admin, not sec. At this moment, we have one secret stored in our psychotic secret server, which is administrator account. It is Active Directory account, which we use to configure the synchronization between our AD and our psychotic server. We have one group has been configured to sync from our AD to psychotic server. We have enabled our user synchronization. I set it up synchronization interval as one day. I'm not using automatic user management. At this moment, the user account option is user are disabled by default. You can make the changes for best practice, user status mirrors from Active Directory. The reason why is when you make changes on your user in Active Directory, for example, disabling it, then it will automatically disable in your psychotic secret server as well. Before we can onboard in the AD admin account, you may want to create in a personal folder structure. For example, you may want to create a new folder. as a AD admin. So in this way, you can put all your AD admin account under this user's folder. You also need to know there's a secret template which you can use to onboard in your secret. So there's a built-in Templates available here, Windows account, and then we have AD account. I'm going to use in this built-in Active Directory account to onboard in our AD admin account. Click Add icon, choose a secret template, Active Directory account. We can cho cho choose a secret name. We do admin one. Domain is 51 sec test.dev. Admin one. Password. A note here, create secret. By default, in our secret template, we already have RDP launcher configured. If you are using other template, for example, some Unix template, you may receive some SSH launcher here. So now we onboarded our admin one. We're going to move it to the folder. AD admin folder. We also can create the subfolder under the secret menu. Right click secret. Choose Add Root Folder. 
let's put the AD admins to here as well. From AD admins, you can right click on it and add it folder. In here, you can assign secret policy and also assign permission. For secret policy, you can create it under the admin secret policy menu here. I already created uh, at the AD admin policy here. But it hasn't been applied to any folder or secret. What we can do, right click AD admin, add the folder, assign secret policy. This is default policy. I haven't set anything there. AD admin policy. Save it. That will keep your secret policy consistently across the different folders or different secret. Folder permission, I'm going to grant it to psychotic group, users group to use this AD admins. Psychotic users group has three users, test one, two, three, which we synced from our AD to psychotic secret server. Save it. We can verify the group and the user settings from admin menu. Psychotic users is from our AD user test one, two, three has been included in that group. Uh, we're going to move our AD admin 1 from personal folder to our root folder AD admin admins. In this way, our psychotic users Test one, two, three can use this AD admins to do uh, RDP work. We're going to log out, log in. We're going to use our know, test one user, log into our AD account. Log in. This is just a normal user. As you go back to AD admins secret folder, you will see admins is already here. Click on it, and you will see RDP launcher. Click on RDP launcher. We're going to enter our computer, which we were going to RDP in. We're going to RDP into our AD server. 192.168.2.12 we launch it now. There's one issue here. Protocol handler wasn't being installed before. We cannot install it now. So that's why we got a failure to launch error message. Okay, we're gonna download 64 bit protocol handler. It's a 16 MAC bytes. As you can see, this protocol handler has three versions. OS X version 32-bit and 64-bit for Windows. Click downloaded file, run it. It says please restart the browser after installing. You can see more information from the psychotic documentation website. You also can install in uh, protocol handler by group policy. Close the browser, log in again. Test one. Admin one user. It's list on the AD admins. We have permission to use that. Click um, RDP launcher again. 
type in the remote machine IP click launch now button so it shows error again in this circumstance we can just click yes to continue yeah would you like remember yes let's say yes again so RDP session opened let's click don't ask me again you can see some details using the following credentials to connect using admin one account basically so there's a certificate error as well we are in we are in 192.168.2.12 and we can see which account we are using it's clear shows we are using admin one you can close it you can cancel this let's try it again This time the professor is much fluent. There's um, no warning message for all kinds of certificate issue, HTTPS, RDP certificate questions because we chose save the save remember the settings. Okay, once we're done, we can sign out from the remote machine. That's pretty much how we can onboarding our AD admin account. It's the same process for you to onboard in local admin account for your Windows machine or Macintosh machine or for your Unix Linux machine, but probably um, you need to use in different policy and a different template and also creating different folder for it and set up proper permissions for your users. I will have more video, please keep tuned. Thank you for watching.